What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another unboxing video and I'm finally able to have this in my hands. I pre-ordered this through uh, Shumi, Shumi, I don't know how to pronounce it. I've never done business with them and it's going to be my last because I pre-ordered this back in March when it very first went live and I just now got it. I've seen people pre-order them through Amazon and got them like in June and this company did not give me any heads up, nothing. People were questioning it on Instagram. They never answered them. I emailed them and it took forever to get an email back and they just said, we don't know. I'm like, so when are we getting it? We don't know. <laughs> okay, whatever. No updates, no nothing. Okay, I'll just go with a different company. So I'm just happy to finally have it. It took them way too long. Like I said, even though I was seeing other people have them on Instagram, I'm like, come on, there should have been some kind of communication there. But anyway, I'm going to unbox this and I'm also going to have some fun with it because I had a John Wick Funko Pop, well I still do, and I did like a little photo of it and a Jason Voorhees one, I took it out and did a little photo of it. I'm going to do the same thing with these, have some fun with it and I'm not sure the ideas I want to have and here they are. Oh that's cool, they came in a plastic case. Huh. I don't know if that was free or something but that's pretty cool even though these are going to be the ones that I don't keep in the box because like I said, I'm going to take them out and do photos of them. So we have Nancy right here. This right here. This right here. We got Sarah. Man, <laughs> I'm so happy to finally have this. And oh, I'm not going to quote it. I'm going to stop myself because I'll probably be, probably be called racist or something like that. But you probably get what I'm getting at. I was just going to quote the movie. It's not how I really feel. And Oh my gosh, Nev Campbell. Man, I I still have a major crush on her. She is just great looking. And Anyway, there they are. And I'm going to show you what they look like up close. And I'm going to put them on a shelf upstairs. I have a dedicated shelf just for these. Let's go. Well, they all stand up except for Nancy. It was a bad design. The heels on the bottom are so short to where no matter what angle you put it, she's going to fall. So, luckily, I have an idea for the shelf. Okay, today's a new day and sorry if it looks weird or anything like that. I've never used my new lens for a video. It's the 14 to 24. So this is the shelf right here. If you're new to my channel, I cleared this shelf because I used to have these little lenticular Blu-rays on there to display them. But then I thought about it when these were announced to do a dedicated shelf for these. And of course, I'm not done with the shelf. I have this to add to it and I'm going to try to find like a little... Wiccan sign or something like that and put some like clove on here and I don't know I'll think of some other witchcraft things I could put on the shelf and just decorate it up dedicated to this because I'm such a huge fan of this movie and here is what this looks like this I got this from Etsy now there's a seller on there that you can find if you just type in like the craft logo you'll find one and he's from my state, so, sorry, I'm trying to get this undone right here. And here's what it looks like. He made the craft logo, and I thought it was going to stand up straight, but I guess not. I guess that's pretty cool like that. And it's the exact logo of the craft on the DVD, which I got back there to hold Nancy up, because like I said, she keeps falling over. I might go ahead and put him back in the boxes because of my record player right here, until I get those little Funko stands to where you can put on the bottom and they'll stand up straight until I get those I'm gonna put them in the back in the boxes and there's what it looks like inside the box yeah I know it's gonna look a lot better when I get those little stands and take them back out of the box but for now I think that looks pretty cool and I'm gonna do a close-up of this right here And 
And that's going to do it for this video. Thank you everyone for stopping by watching and knows who I've been saying forever. It seems like that the shelf that sat empty through my videos, this was my idea the whole time. And please, like I said, let me know in the comments below if you got any suggestions on what I should put on the shelf because I'm really curious on what kind of like witchcraft items I should put on there. I do know I want to get a pentagram, but other than that, I don't know what else. So let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. I'll check you later.